Hello everybody and welcome to my video. Today we're going to talk about the Convair B36 Peacemaker. So you might be asking yourself, what is the B36? Well, the Convair B36 was a long-range uh, strategic heavy bomber aircraft. And it was also the world's largest mass-produced uh, piston aircraft. And uh, this aircraft served from the United States uh, Air Force from 1949 through 1959. So here's some facts about the bomber. So, according to sources, it was 162.07 feet long, with a wingspan of 229.66 feet. The tallest point on the aircraft was 60, er, no, 46.75 feet. It was powered by the Pratt & Whitney R4360 air-cooled four-row radial engine, which had uh, 28 cylinders. It was rated for, uh, it was rated at 3,500 horsepower, and uh, some variants of the B-36 also had turbojets installed, and those were rated at 5,200 pounds of thrust each. Um, the aircraft had a maximum airspeed of 381 knots and a cruise speed of 200 knots. Now, the B-36 had a possible range of 7,500 miles up to 12,000 miles, depending on the variant and load, I'm guessing. Uh, here's another picture of that aircraft, so just kind of a general sc scale of how big this aircraft is. Which is uh, it's pretty impressive. I mean, you got a, you can see a B-29 in the background. Uh, you see another aircraft. I'm not too sure what that one is. But yeah, this, uh, this aircraft is massive. I've actually seen one in person in the in a uh, P. Mayer Space Museum down in Tucson. So it's kind of impressive. Now here's the scale. Uh, I'm not too sure on the top two there what, what models those were, or that other one, a uh, third one down. But uh, the B-17 and the B-29, kind of see a big size difference in those, and then you got the B-36. And it was pretty cool, the, how big it was back in the day. Now, you might be asking yourself, why haven't I seen any of these around? Well, unfortunately, the B-36s were uh, replaced by the B-52s, which are pretty popular today. Uh, pretty much all of them, except for five, were scrapped in uh, Tucson, Arizona. So you can see this video right here. So this is where, uh, I'm guessing they dismantled them. So this whole yard. Now here's another picture of where they sat out in the desert. So it's pretty impressive. I wish I would have seen something like that. There's another picture as they sat in the desert. Now there are some survivors, like I said, and this particular one, serial number uh, 52-0, or no, 52-2220, this is a model uh, B36J-1-CF, it's located at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, we kind of want to visit this one. So it's pretty impressive. 
Here's another one, though, one I've seen in Tucson. It's uh, serial number 52-2827. It's a Model B36J-10-CF, located at the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona. And, uh, yeah, the Pima Air and Space Museum, uh, that's pretty impressive on its own. It's got a huge collection of aircraft. Oh, here's another one. So this is uh, serial number 52-2217, a model B36J-1-CF located at the Strategic Air Command and Space Museum near Omaha, Nebraska. Looks pretty uh, put together. And here's another one, serial number 51-13730, a model RB-36H-30CF. It's located at the Castle Air Museum in Atwater, California. Now, I don't really know what this designation stands for, so I probably just a prototype aircraft, but I could be wrong. So. And there's another one, serial number 42-13571. Um, this, I'm guessing, is the model prototype. It's YB-36, which was, this is the one with the, a dome. I'm, I'm, not too sure when I got the source for this, but it was later converted into an RB-36E, which is currently located in Newberry, Ohio. This aircraft is in pieces and part of the Walter, uh, was it so, Plata Aviation Collection? I'm not too sure, my, but yeah. And this uh, aircraft also has some uh, popular media, which I've seen pieces of this film. So this aircraft starred in the 1955 movie Strategic Air Command. And uh, I left you a link here so you can watch the movie. But I also believe it's available on YouTube itself. So... Uh, I don't know if it's uh, available for free, but uh, it's definitely worth uh, checking out. And hey, thanks for watching. So uh, sub to this channel for more future content and comment the aircraft you would like to see featured. So my next video I was planning on doing the B-29, so let's see if I get all my sources together. And references. So in case you was wondering if I was just making all this stuff up. So. All right, well, I hope you had fun. Uh